One of the um, conversations I had with my partner last year at New Year's Eve was about creatine. Yeah. Um, I had it, had some with me on the counter in our in our home, and we were away from home. And I said to her, I said, oh, you should take some. And her response was, no, that's not for women. And she went on to explain that she felt it was for effectively like bodybuilders. Yeah. And that it would like put on weight. And I was like, I don't think that's true. I said, like, some people on my podcast have told me that, that everyone should be taking it. Yeah. And so we sat there and Googled it. And after Googling it for a couple of um, minutes, she was like scooping it into her drink as fast yes. as she possibly could. But there is a prevailing narrative here. Actually, before you came, I asked AI a couple of questions about women's perceptions on creatine. Mm -hmm. And the number one thing was women thought that it would in gain muscle and gain weight. And they thought it was... Um, for bodybuilders. Yep. That is the prevailing myths around creatine. And what's the expression people use? The dose or the poisons in the dose, mm -hmm. right? So that's part of the creatine. So if we're looking at the bodybuilding set and how it increases muscle capacity and training status. So if we're using a lot of creatine, the dosing for bodybuilding is five grams, four times a day with one gram of carbohydrate. And we see that creatine helps store water within the muscle with glycogen. And we want that for muscle performance because the idea of being able to train harder with creatine is to enhance the amount of, of enzymes that are available for muscle contraction. And creatine is part of the buffering system of that. If we're looking at creatine for health and for women, the dose is three to five grams only once a day without carbohydrate. And the reason for that is women have around 70% of the stores that men have by the nature, for the most part, don't eat as much creatine-filled food as men. And we see that we use it for a lot of our fast energetics. So like for our gut health, for our brain health, um, and then also for muscle performance. So if we're having women take three to five grams once a day, it does not have the same side effects as the bodybuilding set of taking five grams four times a day. Yeah, because on the label, it tells me to take it a few times a day. Yeah, you don't have to. And it says about loading. So this is all the bodybuilding stuff, right? So if you want to load, we see a loading protocols over the course of two weeks, and you're starting to really saturate the body with those five grams four times a day. But for women, we see that three to five grams will fully saturate the body over the course of three weeks. So that means that all of our fast energetics, like I said, our gut, um, the intestines, and we're looking at the integrity of the intestinal cells and the mucosal lining. And we see that there is a greater incidence of GI distress in women. I think it's something like a five to one ratio of women to men having GI distress running. And it has to do with estrogen, but also has to do with what we call the mucosal lining of the intestines. So we want to maintain the integrity of the mucosal lining and creatine is really important for that. So if we're looking at saturating the body over three weeks with three to five grams, we improve that integrity so we have less GI distress. We also see that there have been randomized control trials looking at uh, mood and with specifically with regards to depression and anxiety. And women who are taking three to five grams of creatine will come out of a depressive episode more so than women who are just using an SSRI. So it's really important for brain metabolism. And when we're looking at that whole loading strategy for men, that's all about muscle performance. It's not about gut health. It's not about brain health. It's about muscle performance. Just looking at some studies, creating supplication, creating supplementation for both men and women enhances muscle strength, mm -hmm. increases lean muscle mass, improves high intensity exercise performance, yep. in, improves recovery, has potential cognitive benefits, and supports in neurodegenerative diseases. Yes. So Abby Smith-Ryan is a colleague out of UNC, and she's done a lot of work in creatine for women. Um, and yes, yeah, so we see that there is an improvement in muscle capacity because you're increasing the amount of buffer that's available for muscle contractions. But it doesn't have to be the same loading dose as men. If you are looking for performance enhancement because you want to improve a training block or you're in physique building or you're going to do something like high rocks, and you need to have greater muscle capacity, you might want to try the loading strategy. Yes, you will gain water weight because you're also storing more within the muscle. But for the general woman who's looking for health and performance benefits, you don't have to do a loading strategy. You just have to do that three to five grams a day.